Today on the Daily Deposit, Bud Light Crash. Demand plummets since Dylan Mulvaney controversy, bartending founder spills. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Well, 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 it seems like Bud Light is in quite the pickle. According to the founder of Barnastics Mobile Bartending, Katerina Tucker, consumers are turning their backs on Bud Light faster than you can say, bottoms up. Bud Light got itself mixed up in some controversy with a transgender influencer named Dylan Mulvaney. It's been nothing but trouble for Bud Light. People have been giving them the cold shoulder. And demand for their beer has gone down faster than a tipsy uncle at a wedding. It's gotten so bad that some stores are practically giving away Bud Light for free. Can you imagine that? They're practically begging people to take their beer. And to make matters worse. Bud Light has had to buy back expired beers from wholesalers. That's gotta hurt their pride, and their pocketbook. But it's not just the stores that are feeling the pain. Katerina Tucker, the mastermind behind Barnastics, has seen the backlash firsthand. She's noticed a significant shift in what people want at their events. And guess what? Bud Light ain't invited anymore. It's been snubbed like that unpopular kid at a high school dance. According to Katerina, consumers are becoming more conscious of the brands they support. They want companies that align with their values. And Bud Light just ain't cutting it anymore. Instead, people are flocking to craft beers, fancy cocktails, and premium spirits. It's like Bud Light is the boring uncle of the beverage world. While the others are the cool kids throwing an epic party. Katerina doesn't see things turning around for Bud Light anytime soon. She's gotten feedback from clients. And let me tell you, they're not happy campers. They're not about to forgive and forget. But hey, don't worry about Anheuser-Busch. The parent company of Bud Light. Their other products. Like good old Budweiser, haven't taken as big of a hit. It's like Bud Light is the black sheep of the family. So there you have it, folks. Bud Light is learning the hard way that messing with the wrong influencer can really put a damper on your sales. Will they recover? Only time will tell. But for now, it looks like they're stuck with a warm beer and a lot of disappointed customers. Cheers to that. Or maybe not. If you're holding a can of Bud Light,